Everybody else is late. We have no idea where we're going. This may be the last time you see us. Stay tuned. A few moments later. everybody it's sunday um seven o'clock in the morning and we are out on the road so that can only mean one thing we're going to ride dirt bikes so about to go meet up with everybody get a little bit of breakfast in first then hit the road it's low 50s been raining for two days straight so it should be a complete and absolute mud fest uh but we'll see if we can try and keep it up and not get too soaked and fall into any rivers or anything like that but stay tuned we're gonna have a good day everybody else is late we have no idea where we're going this may be the last time you see us stay tuned Oh, what the hell?
Where did he go? Fuck! I think he went that way. He went that way. I think he's that way. Go straight? Yeah. See, oh, here he is. So we are at Iron Mountain Resort. I think it's technically Dawsonville or Dahlonega, not Dahlonega, Georgia. So far, some good single track. Nothing's really labeled, but basically you just get lost in here, go from trail to trail. Um, it has been raining for the last couple days. So it's pretty slick. Also a ton of leaves on the ground. Ah, and tree roots. Come on. See, and that's the problem with stopping. Once you lose momentum, it's hard to get it going. Let's get going again. Oh. We're good. So I need a good helmet. The ideal position. This is why dirt bikes wear you out. I don't really know the best approach here. I just stayed in it.
This is the first time back after probably six months of not riding dirt. It is kicking my ass. Out, lost it. <sighs> yeah, I am tired already. See, and this is what makes you tired. Every time you crash, you gotta pick the bitch up. Ow. Can't stand it up because the tree's in the way. Man, this is whole bunch of energy that should be used for riding now has to be used for this I've already crashed into that tree. You can see the bark missing. <laughs> oh, he's got the idea. Just left Iron Mountain. Um, it's in Dahlonega, Georgia. Rode some single track today. Hit a lot of trees. Fell down a lot of hills. Slipped in a lot of mud. Um, but I've been there before. Uh, one time when they first opened. And 
I couldn't find any single track. I wasn't really a big fan of it. So I went today with a buddy who knows it a little bit better and they've established a lot more. That was probably about a year ago. So um, had a good time. There's a lot of single track. I'd recommend it if you like single track. The only thing is it's kind of hard to find the trails. They're not really labeled as well as other places that I go to, such as Durham Town and Highland Park, um, where they're at the trailhead, there's numbers, all that. Here, you just gotta find the trail, and then once you're on it, there's just little markers hanging from the trees, and you just follow them, but uh, one of the trails was like two hours long. It took us to get through it, and lots of challenging stuff. We did get a lot of rain yesterday, last night, and into the morning. It was still raining when we were driving there this morning, but um, about 60 degrees, so temperature was nice, but I was just slipping everywhere. My tires are shot, so definitely gonna get some new tires before next time I go out, but I will definitely be back there. Uh, definitely had some really challenging single track, and if you're into single track, I would highly recommend you checking them out. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.